Welcome to English Practice Every Day. Idioms we will learn today are 1. Paint the town red. Paint the town red. 2. Out of keeping. Out of keeping. 3. Nest egg. Nest egg. 4. Wet behind the ears. Wet behind the ears. 5. Rough and ready. Rough and ready. 6. Flesh out. Flesh out. 7. Oh my, so cute. Oh my, so cute. Let's start. Please speak out loud with me. 1. Paint the town red. Paint the town red. Paint the town red means to go out and celebrate, often in a lively and extravagant manner. Paint the town red means to go out and celebrate, often in a lively and extravagant manner. The team painted the town red after winning the championship. The team painted the town red after winning the championship. The newlyweds wanted to paint the town red on their honeymoon. The newlyweds wanted to paint the town red on their honeymoon. Don't miss the chance to paint the town red at the annual carnival. Don't miss the chance to paint the town red at the annual carnival. 2. Out of keeping. Out of keeping. Out of keeping means inconsistent or not in harmony with surroundings or expectations. Out of keeping means inconsistent or not in harmony with surroundings or expectations. Joe's behavior was out of keeping with the traditions of the family. Joe's behavior was out of keeping with the traditions of the family. The loud music in the library was completely out of keeping with the quiet environment. The loud music in the library was completely out of keeping with the quiet environment. The comedian's dark jokes were out of keeping with the family-friendly tone of the show. The comedian's dark jokes were completely out of keeping with the family-friendly tone of the show. Three nest egg, nest egg, nest egg means a sum of money saved or invested for the future. Nest egg means a sum of money saved or invested for the future. Lisa inherited a nest egg from her grandparents, which she wisely invested. Lisa inherited a nest egg from her grandparents, which she wisely invested. I put aside a portion of my salary as a nest egg for my children's education. I put aside a portion of my salary as a nest egg for my children's education. Having a nest egg provides a sense of financial security during uncertain times. Having a nest egg provides a sense of financial security during uncertain times. Four. Wet behind the ears. Wet behind the ears. Wet behind the ears means inexperienced, immature, or naive. Wet behind the ears means inexperienced, immature, or naive. Starting a new job can make anyone feel wet behind the ears initially. Starting a new job can make anyone feel wet behind the ears initially. The young detective is eager to prove himself but is still wet behind the ears. The young detective is eager to prove himself but is still wet behind the ears.
Fresh out of college, Amy was a bit wet behind the ears for the corporate world. Fresh out of college, Amy was a bit wet behind the ears for the corporate world. Fayu, rough and ready. Rough and ready. Rough and ready means simple, basic or hastily prepared but effective. Rough and ready means simple, basic or hastily prepared but effective. They set up a rough and ready campsite for the night. They set up a rough and ready campsite for the night. The carpenter's rough and ready craftsmanship gave the furniture a rustic charm. The carpenter's rough and ready craftsmanship gave the furniture a rustic charm. The chef presented a rough and ready dish using whatever ingredients were available. The chef presented a rough and ready dish using whatever ingredients were available. Six flesh out. Flesh out. Flesh out means to add details or expand on a basic idea or concept. Flesh out means to add details or expand on a basic idea or concept. The architect took time to flesh out the blueprint with precise measurements. The architect took time to flesh out the blueprint with precise measurements. The author needed to flesh out the characters in the novel to make them more interesting. The author needed to flesh out the characters in the novel to make them more interesting. The scientist needed to flesh out the theory with additional experiments and observations. The scientist needed to flesh out the theory with additional experiments and observations. Seven. Oh my, so cute! Oh my, so cute! Oh my, so cute! Is an exclamation expressing delight or admiration, especially for something adorable. Oh my, so cute! Is an exclamation expressing delight or admiration, especially for something adorable. A baby's laughter often makes people say, "Oh my, so cute!" A baby's laughter often makes people say, "Oh my, so cute!" When Emma saw the puppy, she couldn't help but exclaim, "Oh my, so cute!" When Emma saw the puppy, she couldn't help but exclaim. Oh my, so cute! The little kitten playing with a ball of yarn elicited an "Oh my, so cute!" from everyone. The little kitten playing with a ball of yarn elicited an "Oh my, so cute!" from everyone. That's all for this idiom practice session. Please keep practicing the idioms we learned today until the next time when we pick up seven more idioms and master them. Bye for now.